Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we are back with Batwoman. Last time we had our season three premiere. Met the Mad Hatter wannabe. Yeah, I Replacement, loved it. whatever he was. He wasn't the real Mad Hatter, but he was whoever. We also met Montoya. Montoya. Yes, Renee, uh, who is putting together a, I don't know, Batwoman rogue? and Alice at least. A grouping. rogue unit, right? She has a rogue unit. Oh, she is something. in the rogue she unit. She is the rogue unit. I am the last one. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we met her, and uh, we also have some stuff going on with Ryan's mother, which was the subject of our poll, asking, do you think that Ryan's mother faked her own death for selfish or selfless reasons? 35% mm -hmm. said that she faked her own death in an attempt to protect Ryan, while 64% said that she did it not caring about Ryan. Hmm. So everyone thinks she's just straight up bitch. <laughs> uh, Josh said that she's going to end up being the billionaire that we were introduced to. I mean, probably. I figure that's who she is because that's what they kind of hinted at. But. They could be throwing us off. What's the reason? Uh, Ricky says, I have a wild theory. No pun intended. Ryan's dad is going to be some famous character like Bruce Wayne's long lost brother, Thomas Wayne Jr. Or a <laughs> Falcone or something crazy like that. I would prou proudly wear the L if I'm wrong, but it's only the only thing that makes sense to me with this huge cover-up, a fake death, fake names, and two million. A lot of work and money for a nobody. Yeah, so exactly. her parents are going to be someone important. I'm still thinking her dad's a bad guy, and her mom was being nice and tried to hide Ryan. <laughs> Uh, TJ says, my guess is selfish reasons, and she won't be very nice. If she does get involved in Ryan's life, I imagine that will be for selfish reasons as well. Hmm. Spencer says, for now, I say that she does not care. I do not see a reason to protect Ryan, unless her father is a big villain type of character. Yes! We'll end here with Marcus DeBoss100, who says, I don't see why she would care if she abandoned her, especially like that. Unless she pops out of nowhere and gives some bullshit reason as to why she did what she did, I don't think that she really cares one bit. I also really enjoyed this premiere. Yes. I did too. I enjoyed the premiere too. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing we're looking at. Like, I don't, I don't know if there's a reasoning that she would give her up that would be protecting her. But maybe there's a more positive spin rather than just, I don't want to see my daughter. Or I don't want my daughter. I mean, to pay $2 million. And change like, your name. That's more than just abandoning the kid. Yeah, you know? that, that's actually that's trying like, to give them a head, like a leg up. It's extra work. And killing off the doctor afterwards? Is that what happened? I don't think they killed the doctor, no. He's no longer able to practice? Oh, no, he got a lawsuit later on uh, for malpractice or something or another fraud. I don't know what it was. Something like that. But it seems like a lot of work just to be like, I don't want a kid. You know? So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this time or next time we'll figure out. But we also have a lot of things in the river that need collecting. At least 12, right? Big long list. Big long list. Let's collect it. How cold do you think the pool is? Can you tell me? Dead! No. Okay, so not electricity. I'm waiting for like a shark or something. Killer cross. I don't know. Or he's gone when she comes up. Oh, spookier. Killer Croc? Is it? I don't know. What is doing this? I don't know. I was trying to guess anything in the water. I saw something going like this. Uh-huh. And it looks human-ish. I think he got eaten. You better get out of there. Just get out of there! Like... What makes you think any of this is gonna stick? Like you. Because you're responsible for everything she does. She crosses the line, your days as a cape vigilante over. Wait, there's people right here. Save for a grisly calling card, which eerily resembles that of Batman foe Killer Croc. Killer Croc. Yeah. Terrorized Gotham and like it did not look like a shark. Ago, the original Killer Croc suffered from an infection, then it would have gotten into his bloodstream. So maybe the two should carry the infection. Mm, infected someone you know? new? We need to find them. I need to talk to you both. She just leave her here? Or is she handcuffed to that railing? I mean, she is handcuffed, but I mean, Hang out here. she can definitely okay. get through that. Tell the truth. Does this say, no, I haven't been CEO for just five minutes? <laughs> no. It says, I'm a confident, put together young black woman who you were an idiot to ever give up. <laughs> you think she knows? 
I just want to get through this meeting and never see her again. <clears throat> okay. And I want to get her damn helicopter off of my roof. There was an illegal breach of the Tutorian industry servers. It was a very sophisticated hack. But the culprit left behind a few digital breadcrumbs. And I think you should drop the acting from your job title. Denying you knew anything about this was not your best performance. Hmm. She's like, none of this was. <laughs> she wasn't even there for her, so. Turning off in the middle of a fight because it thinks you need medical assistance seems more like unsafe mode. Yeah. Why don't we start by making sure there aren't any glitches with you first? Sure. Maybe he has like a heart problem or something. Yeah. If the suit thinks you're injured, let's make sure you're not. Which is Mary's job, Dr. Mary. Doctor. Renee said I had to watch you. It doesn't mean I have to listen to you. <clears throat> so you don't want to know where Croc's going to strike next. How would you know? Okay. Fine. I'll bite. Well, SBM. Uh -huh. Fine. Next victim. Well, or this little girl to die. Yeah. yeah. Is that the oh. paralytic slime? <laughs> Man. Massacres. Until he gets hungry. Oh, is that croc skin? Hmm. Growing? It appears our croc is a growing boy. How big's he getting? In the sewers. But it could have started as a little kid. This would be scary, wouldn't it? Would you be scared? Oh, yeah. I would have peed my pants by now. <laughs> At least you're in the sewer already. Yep. I want to see how they're going to fight Killer Croc. You're the only one with abandonment issues. I will not give up on this girl the way everyone gave up on me. Hmm. That's emotion coming through. <laughs> <laughs> She's jumping in like a turtle. Bait. Bait. This means we're not the only one hunting this monster. He's my son. Hmm. Well. You're keeping fit. Mm hmm. In good breath sounds. She giving him like a full physical? Your heart rate is rising. Oh, you are touching him. <laughs> now it's racing. Luke, are you okay? <laughs> You're totally fine. <laughs> fine. Are we making this a thing? Is that what we're doing? If you want. <laughs> you should. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's where this comes in. <coughs> a cattle broad? Okay. strong enough for him? But it's not for him. It's for you. Oh. I'm not gonna let you hurt my boy. Oh. That woman, I'm reading a huge power spike. Is everything okay? Ah. That woman, yeah. can you read me? Even if that means... Oh shit! Look at him! It doesn't even matter that it's its dad? Yeah, he looks kinda scary now. Cause that's all I need. <gasps> Suckers. Yep. What happened to saving that little girl? So you and Mary fix what was wrong with the suit? Yes, that wing is all clear. Good. Alice <sighs> is left headed north. Somebody. Is she gonna help the little girl? You act like you cared. Either really care or don't. No one is gonna save you except yourself. You are the only one you can count on. Marching on. With the cattle prod. That way. Ooh, cool name. <laughs> that smile. I love it. All I need to be you. We're on the same team, whether we like it or not. <laughs> so, if you want to run, you better be really fast. 
So now she's got trackers inside of her and she can't get rid of them. It's clever, but isn't that uh, Jada Jet's technology? Maybe, but who was the employee that she lost? Possibly Luke. Dang. I, that's better than Suicide Squad Killer Croc, isn't it? It looks pretty good. <laughs> it's a pretty good croc. Oh! Except it's kind of bulky moving. Okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Alice didn't do that. No. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have told you. I should have never told you. She paid the doctor $2 million to falsify her records so no one would ever know I was hers. Why? That's a lot to go through. I know. Yeah, we still don't know. That. Sorry, I banged up the suit a little bit. Dad. Oh no, did it disable Dad? Maybe it's because you removed the failsafe. And I think you need to turn it back on. I think what the suit is interpreting as physical pain is actually psychological pain. Mm. What are you doing? Pour water in and see if it grows. Maybe poison ivy's still out there. God help us. You might get your girl. Poison ivy. Because I'm your daughter. Duh. Hmm. Well, cat's out of the bag. Well, they don't look too different. An age, you know, like you don't think there's enough of a difference between the like you are my mom. Well, I mean, still can be her mom, but I think that she would have been very young when it happened. Maybe her parents covered it up. No, I'm telling you, if you if you could, but I think she was a. If that's the case, maybe she was a cute young thing to a rich man, and you do a mistress thing to where you got to hide it from this rich. I fell in love with this guy and I shouldn't have, he was trouble. I think you make the dad some kind of bad guy. Oh yeah, I mean, you make the... I mean, he doesn't have to be a bad guy to be rich. He could have just been some, like, Bruce Wayne or Tommy Elliot, you know? Like, someone that's very rich and can still sure. cover it up and not be necessarily the bad guy. Like, villain bad guy. Like, I think it could still be to protect Ryan, like he was a villain or something. Sure. And even the parents stepped in to help protect. And then later, uh, Jada Jet... Jada Jet. Uh, ...got married after the, ba the baby. Yeah, I would think so, too. So... That, ten years ago that she died, Ryan's 20-some years, so you could have easily been married to him before his death for a while mm -hmm. or that could have been the father well, I would but I don't assume think versus was. being married after the death you're married after the death <laughs> I guess I don't know with legalities I guess or no because you're a widow then I don't know <clears throat> hmm what do you think of the killer crop I thought it was done pretty well I thought it looked pretty decent um, it's also mainly was seen quickly in the dark it's only a few times we really got to see it and stuff yeah. but I think what they gave for it and stuff it was you don't show it a whole lot. You make your mind kind of build into it. You show enough. Mm -hmm. It's like the Wampa from Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Initially, you didn't show a whole lot. You showed just enough. Let the imagination fill in the rest. And it still seems scary. True. But I was with you at the beginning. I'm like, what else could it be? Because it couldn't be like King Shark. Because we've had that in Flash. And I wouldn't believe that we'd bring that over. You sure. Know? And Killer Croc's more of a Batman yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. And then, like, <clears throat> I'm like, what else would be in the water. <laughs> well, when we were going through water, I was like, penguin, kill a croc. Those are the first two I had. Yeah. After that, I'm like, uh, I, I don't nothing. know. It's about to be something else. Uh, why penguin? Because he drowned in Penguins water? Penguins get in water. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? I guess that's true. <laughs> what goes in the water? Penguins and killer crocs. Do cats go in it? No. Do riddles go in it? No. Does freezing go in it? No. You get ice. <laughs> okay. Poison ivy? Not quite, but she's still around, maybe, or yeah. something. Maybe not her. But, her, but the flower is not hers. Her vine. The, the vine was not hers. 
I don't know if with the Poison Ivy, if you can get Poison Ivy 2.0 or if you have to get Poison Ivy 1.0. Like, I don't know if the Poison Ivy just grows. Can you take it, wrap around yourself and control them? Or is it more of a Poison Ivy thing that can control them? You know, like the hat seemed to have a thing inside of it, so the Mad Hatter, it amplifies, you can mind control. Right. Killer Croc has an infection. It was the infection give. thing. Like, if the umbrella for Penguin gets found by someone else, they can run amok, but I don't know if they're necessarily like Penguin. You know, they don't have the powers of Penguin. Of right. course, Penguin doesn't have the powers of Penguin. Power, He just has umbrellas. So I guess you would have the powers <laughs> of Penguin. But anyway. He was just a great manipulator. Just been his thing. <laughs> his umbrella that goes and you go and you listen to what he says waddle around let me bite off your nose Danny DeVito <laughs> Penguin yes 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 but <laughs> hmm but yeah I don't know maybe we'll get some poison ivy maybe that'd be later on leave it open so that we can see some like random rogues of Batwoman yeah. going on now and then poison ivy is like a bigger thing that we gotta deal with I doubt that would be like uh Pamela, Pamela, right? Uh, Rick, what's her last name? Anderson. No. You're talking about like the actual Poison Ivy yeah. name? I doubt that it would actually be her. <sighs> I know. I should know this. <laughs> Start uh, with me nuts. Ice? Isley. Pamela Isley? Isley? Is that what it is? I think so. Something with an I. Yeah, yep. I'm... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Uma Thurman. It's <laughs> like Uma Thurman. Um, <laughs> what'd you think about the Mary Luke fixing the suit? I enjoyed the, um, wow, your heart is racing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It was a very awkward Well, she didn't moment. do it that way, though, either, though. It was like she didn't realize. She goes, are you okay? And then they were, like, this far apart. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, all right. I guess we're doing this now. Which I didn't feel like we were doing that before, but I guess we are now. Because I thought we were getting him with that, what, that redhead. I mean, it, it doesn't mean that they're going to be a thing. She can still find them attractive, and they don't have to be a thing. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's fine. It but. can still be an awkward thing because she's like, oh, I've never seen you without your shirt before. Hmm, this is kind of awkward. You can put it back on. Hello. If you want to. But please do. You should do it. <laughs> I guess so, but usually I feel like TV shows do that kind of thing not to be like, oh, look, they find each other attractive, but they're not together. To be like, hey, they find each other attractive, thus they'll get together, you know? Usually you don't get them... To- like, here's Without our spark, the and then later we'll have a flame. Yeah. Yeah. Which the spark started with abs. <laughs> I, Luke's may not. It have. just feels so superficial. But it did feel like Mary, like, I didn't. I never had that part before until she was like, you're staying fit, my professional opinion. Like, mm-hmm. it was like, then it was all, I don't know. I'm like, is that the reason? Or was it like... Oh, he's nice, but he's a nerdy guy. And he's like, oh, he's in shape. He's a nice and shape guy. Like, yeah, it does feel more superficial that way. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I did not like listening to the lungs up here in the shoulders. And then that's all there was. She put it down here. She went For here, heart. And here. And then here. I don't know. Whatever. He, well, I don't know. Anyway. I don't know it. But, I mean... Her stethoscope skills need some help, but other than that, it was at the same it was time a fun scene. At the same time, they've definitely done that kind of stuff towards women, so doing it towards man is fairing it up. Fairing I don't know. Fairing it up, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fairing it up. Fairing it up. Um. I do like our solution for Alice using <clears throat> some nanotechnology to now uh, track her. Sure. Uh, which I feel like might lead into the idea of Luke being the employee the that missing, came from yeah. Jada Jet. Which, ooh, what? man, I don't want him to do that though. What? All right. So, if Luke was an employee uh, at Jada Jet's place, mm-hmm. right? 
Was that at all related to Lucius, who also maybe could have been working with her? Well, that's what I was thinking. It may have been Lucius and not Luke. N no. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm saying, like, is there then a connection between Lucius Fox and Jada Jet? And could Ryan and Luke be, like, Brother, half sis. siblings? <laughs> I hope they don't because don't. it's kind of the same idea of like Star Wars. Like in Star Wars, there's not like a lot of black actors like mm -hmm. in Star Wars. And then sometimes when things happen, like, could this be Lando's daughter? It's like, no, I don't need every like character in Star Wars to have to be related because, well, here's a like. So I hope they don't kind of don't do that just yeah. to have more variety of just, you just have people. You don't have to have them all related or nothing like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Hopefully that's, that's not what it not is, it. but at the same time, I'm like, well, that would cause some drama or changes or differences or whatever between I figured that. And it might reach into a reason of like, well, you can't, you know, Lucius was married or something, so it was like a dirty secret, and it kind of like, well, Lucius did have some secrets, maybe, but he also is usually looked at as being like just a really good guy, so I don't know. I don't know if I would like it or not like it, you know? Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't like it. I feel like I wouldn't because I don't want to just be like, well, all of our characters, this Ryan person that we never heard of before in season one, but well, she's here now. Oh, and she's related to Luke. Like, what? Why? I guess it would help tie her in, <clears throat> like, into, like, Batman universe. Maybe. And then you get, like, a brother-sister Bat family fighting together. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know. We'll see. But that was just one thought process because I was like, well, there obviously must be a connection between Jada and... Jet and Luke, I think, because of the micro technology for the microbots to do the tracking stuff. Them. I mean, who else designed that, you know? Except for Luke. Unless it was his father's design. Well, sure, I guess. But I don't think so. And that Lucius is the one that left the company. Because what was the line that no. she said? I feel like Lucius was around too much with Wayne technology stuff. Luke came in later on and joined in with it. But you could have maybe had Lucius do it. They didn't specify which employee it was. Mm -mm. They just said an employee. I imagine it's going to be someone we know. Which it could be Lucius or Luke because they're both intelligent people. So I could see that. It's not going to be like Mary or Sophie no. or any of them. Like they, don't, they either don't work for Wayne Technologies or they're not the kind of people that would be between the two. I so mean, what employees of Wayne Technologies do we know of? <laughs> sure. We don't know any of that. <laughs> Other Luke, than Luke. <laughs> Luke is the only one that makes sense now to be going mm -hmm. somewhere. I don't know if the Lucius one, unless it's just that there was an employee, they had a thing, and she lost him here, and that's why she was held a grudge against Wayne Technologies. And he died over 10 years ago, and then whenever he died... How long has Lucius been dead? I don't know how long it's been. But I don't know. But it would have been known if she was married to Lucius because... No, she was not married to Lucius. That's why you cover it I know. Up. That's why I'm saying 10 years ago her husband died. That doesn't help with anything. Well, then you said, when did Lucius die? <laughs> well, yeah, but they're not married. I know. No, I was just trying to figure out when he died to kind of figure out like a time frame of everything happening too. Because it's got to be 20 some years ago. Luke does not look older than Ryan. So that's what... What does that have to do with anything? Like. Like Luke and Ryan don't have to be the same age or different ages or whatever. They can be the I mean, same they or look different. Similar They'd be ages. different moms. Like, I know they would be different moms, but like for storylines to add up would not make sense. Why wouldn't it? Because they look close enough in age. Yeah, that's perfect. That's actually better than them looking too far in age. That he knocked over, knocked over, <laughs> knocked up. Two women at the same time? Lucius Fox? That does not sound right. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'm just saying. I don't know. It would give a dark secret to Lucius that that Luke has to try to deal with. And you have the talking with the father in the helmet. You could kind of have some connections there to it, too. I guess. You know? I don't like it. I don't know if I, don't know if I like it either. I said before, I don't know that I like it. But nope. it could be a possibility that they're going for it. Nope. It is not because I don't like it. That's the only reason. Well, we did have that Killer Croc was from two decades ago when Batman defeated him, but he didn't actually defeat him. GCPD blew him blew up him down in the sewers. Up. So that's some stuff. Um, and this world already has an Aquaman, 
So there's some establishing of like True. Aquaman's in this world, but we've never seen him. Though we did have Atlanteans mentioned in Flash before, but that's it. All right, guys, let's jump into Q&As and see what you guys thought. Uh, we are going to be doing these for all of our live shows. So if there's any questions, thoughts, concerns you have or anything, make sure that you follow us at Blind Wave Crew. And uh, for this one, put in hashtag Batwoman Q&A. But you can see over on Twitter all of our hashtags for all of our other shows that we do. And submit ones uh, for this week. We have um, interesting from DK Lounge talking about comic Renee. Uh, Renee Montoya in the comics is not only known as a vigilante uh, called The Question, but also has been in a romantic relationship with Kate's Batwoman. With Kate no longer in the show, do you think Ryan and Renee could have a romantic partnership? Hmm. At this moment, no. <laughs> I feel like... I don't see it yet. Yeah, I feel like Ryan's too upset with her. Not trusting of her. There's the there is like a thin line between hate and love, right? I don't think she hates her though. Sure, but like there's already a conflict, and then you have that conflict, 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 and then bam, yeah. Mm, I don't know. If anything, I'm feeling more between Sophie and Ryan. That could be a possibility too. Like they've talked about relationship stuff too between them, right? Mm-hmm. Did they do that last episode? Right? I don't know about last episode. I thought they showed. Uh, Sophie like at a bar being like mm-ts, 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 and dancing and stuff and then they talked about that Maybe. I don't remember them talking about it but we did see her at a bar <clears throat> uh, Ross Max says what did you think of the new killer croc and also would you like it if Luke and Mary were a couple I would not be opposed to Luke and Mary being a couple you okay with them being a couple I don't know yet. I want more time with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, it's the Stephanie, Stephanie girl. Stephanie girl. The what? Redhead? The redhead, yeah. What about her? Where's she at? I don't know. I, I, I said I just miss her. Like. Me too. I thought her and Luke would be like is very what, compatible. Is that what her name was with Stephanie? I thought it was something. It's back when she was. they were dealing with the one. Yeah. It was not the Riddler. but very the, common. Whatever. But yeah. Um, for, as far as the killer qua- blah, as far as the killer croc goes, I uh, liked what they did with him for the most part. He seemed kind of scary and menacing. They had some horror aspects to it where like you don't quite see what it is and it's in the shadows or you don't mm-hmm. see it at all and you just see people getting pulled and stuff. Um, which leads more to the imagination rather than just showing it. And then when they did show it, I felt like the, fir- the few times they did, it looked pretty good. So then you just kind of fill in the blanks on the other times. He's kind of he got he's definitely a lot bigger and more menacing than like the little picture of the kid they had. Yeah. So it kind of sucks for that kind of thing, but I thought it was pretty good. Well, I mean, the fact that he's bigger was also the fact that he was shedding his skin and then he was growing, he was molting. So. Sure. He's gro- probably growing faster because of the infection too, maybe. Uh, Pepsi Queen says, "What do you think of Ryan and Sophie as a couple?" So you were talking about that. You feel that more so than. Ryan and Renee. The way that Sophie keeps talking up Ryan just kind of makes it feel like there might be a possibility. But at the same time, I don't know if that's just because, you know, she wants to be good support for her. Yeah. Maybe. So, again, there's another fine line. <laughs> kind of don't want that one to happen, though. Yeah. Between Sophie and Ryan. Because you already had Sophie in the last Batwoman. Mm-hmm. So now like Sophie and another Batwoman. Well, and Sophie and the other Batwoman, Julia. Sure, they were together, I guess, huh? So, I guess Sophie just had the Batwoman thing, but... Detective Axel Foley says, do you think that there's really something wrong with Luke? Um, I mean, Mary's probably right with the idea of, like, that's the same point you got shot. While there's no scar or anything because of the Desert Rose, it doesn't mean you weren't affected mentally, which we know he was affected mentally. Yeah. Um, he, he died. He died. Well, the whole, yeah, and the whole, and he didn't want to live, and then the whole push that he had to becoming Batwing was more so of a um, a vengeance kind of thing. He decided to go with his father. Like, he decided he wanted sure. to die. Sure, and then it got pulled away. And, yeah. So, I definitely think there's something there. I Which just don't know what it is. We did discuss there at the that episode and episodes after. We're like, why haven't we hit this more? Like, he should be going through some type of psychosis, you know? Like, something more needs to be going on. 
versus instead he just went into sidekick. Sure. So I'm glad that they're kind of addressing it. And, I mean, for sure he can end up with PTSD after being shot. Sure. And it seems like, uh, let's see, the last time was when I think they got shot at um, when they were invading the one place and it shut down and she pulled him when the gun was coming up on him. True. So that can be PTSD related. At least a gun was pulled, if not a gun being out there. I don't remember. There's been at least two times it's failed. And I don't remember both of them. I know that one involved a gun at least at the minimum. So... Very possible. Mm-hmm. Liam says, do you think Ryan's mom will use this as an opportunity to take control of Wayne Tower, um, given that there's power in the Wayne name? So could it be Wayne Tower and or Wayne Industries or Wayne Tech or any of that kind of stuff? Um, no. I mean, that's not what her goal is right now. You could have where maybe she tries to go into that since Ryan is CEO right now or acting CEO. But... At least as of right now, there's no plans for that. I don't think she was expecting Ryan to be her daughter. I don't even know if she knew what the name of her, her daughter, daughter had been. No, you know? I really doubt that she did. <clears throat> I think she tried to separate herself as much as yeah. she could after that. Because that seems why she, I mean, she seemed to know. Like, she knew her name was Ryan because she said, I'm Ryan. And then later on, she said about Ms. Wilder. So she knew her name. And she came there after knowing there was a hack after Jada information. Mm-hmm. So... She must not know of who her daughter is, and this is going to blindside her, but then I don't know what her actions are going to be later. No, I, I cannot tell if she's evil or not. Like, I mean, we don't have any character development on her yet, you know? Mm-hmm. So. All right, guys, that's all we're going to have for Q&As for this week. Make sure you guys submit any uh, thoughts, questions, concerns you have for future weeks. We usually watch this the uh, the following day after it's been aired, so... You get a little bit of time to be able to submit any Q and A's, uh, and that's usually the case for most of our live shows. So, before we leave, though, we need a poll, and I think maybe the poll for this week will be: Do you think that the employee that uh, Jada was mentioning that Wayne took from her business is Luke Fox, or do you think it is someone else? Then we can talk about that later on on if you think it could be Luke's father, someone we don't even know. Mm-hmm. It's not really that important, and it was just a drop of a information randomly as to a connection that they have with Wayne, which is not much. Um, so, yeah, is it going to be important? Is it not going to be important? I'm going to say that I think it was Luke because we have the micro-technology thing that they used on Alice. Nanotech, yeah. Yeah. Um, Though, if it was like Lucius or something like that, you could still have some carryover from that and stuff as well. So, But I'm going to go with Luke. Hmm. I bet <clears throat> it doesn't even matter. So it wasn't Luke? Just someone else? Just Anyone someone else. else. doesn't matter. Just a drop of information to throw us off the trail of the mob. See you guys next week. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure that you subscribe and uh, like the video. Just like the video if you didn't like it. If you really didn't like it, dislike it twice. And, uh, sure. And also make sure you guys go over to patreon.com slash blindwave. You can vote there. Leave comments over on the poll. We will talk about those at the beginning of next week's episode. So, once again, subscribe so you don't miss out on it and all the other live shows we cover right here at Blind Wave. <laughs>